Welcome back to guest star. Huh? Uh, uh, um, hmm. Star allies go. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester with the Niskel. We're gonna be finishing up guest star. <laughs> star allies go today. I, I swear I remember, but I I don't. Oh yeah, Waddle do. That's right. Oh, he's my favorite. We're finishing up level four and doing level five today. So. uh... Wait, why don't, why don't we have a time on that one? Because we're still at the checkpoint. Don't you see? I thought it would have two se- well, never mind. I will let you lead. Let's do it! Alright, let me just turn to my notes oh, I, here. You get you, you get it. I, I am here. Uh, okay. Well, I, I yep. guess I will carry this entire uh, brigade All right, here. here we go. God, Guy doesn't even have his notes as soon as we start. <laughs> what kind of show are you running here? Because, well, we're not really, uh... I think I asked you the same question in the last episode. <laughs> Alright, so it's not finishing up today, but... No, well, it's, it's, it's still something. It's more Kirby. I said that, I was like, wait, that's not, that's not right. But, uh, whatever. So I've got a question for you. Yeah, what do you got? Uh, we were just talking about Switch games before this episode went on. Yes. And I have to ask you, mm -hmm. will there be another Kirby game for this generation? Because we already had the, the the little mini game that you could buy and you, you like pay in apples or something like that. Do you think we'll ever get a full fledged Kirby game, another one? Oh right, this one in the Switch's lifetime. Um, actually, I do. You think so? Hmm. You think there's room for one more? I think I do. Uh, I'm not saying there will be, and that did you should yeah, yeah. take that as any. But I think that it is likely. Because how many Kirby games did we get in the 3DS era? We had Two. Robobot, we had Triple Deluxe. The, uh, well, the main ones. We had uh, quite a few uh, Kirby games, actually. But uh, it just it just depends if Hal has a good idea or not. Well, so far they've been nothing but suck. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Yeah, you're right. They've been terrible. <laughs> they are, in fact, terrible. Who keeps hiring these guys to make Kirby? Why don't they get Rare to do it? Or, you know, Retro Studios. <laughs> Why don't they get Apogee Software to do it? <laughs> Can they hire Atlas or Sega to do it? After all, Kirby would be better if it were a Commander Keen game. Mm -hmm. mm. Do you hear that game got canceled, by the way? There... D oh, oh, wait, what? I think it got canceled. Do you mean that terrible-looking reboot? Yeah. I think it got canned. That's hilarious. Thanks to Vitriol. But then again, I might be wrong. I've been wrong about plenty of things in, in my life, it career. Might just, it might just be just straight up canceled because, you know, oh wait, we can't get the idea to work. Shit. That's what I find is usually a killer. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, it looks good on paper, but then... Yeah, it looks good on paper, then when they get to actually, you know, getting some design down and getting some gameplay, they're like, oh, wait, shit. Actually, we have no ideas. Has there been cancellations based on pure fan vitriol? Uh, I know reworkings have happened, but never straight out cancellations. Cancellation because nobody wanted it. Hmm. Because no matter what, executives are gonna are gonna push that game no matter what, unless it be like Anthem came out for God's sake. Hatred came out. Hatred came out for God's sake. But I think that was somebody trying to I, send a message. I, I know they're trying to get rid of that Six Days in Fallujah game. <laughs> I know, I know that's, uh, th that's, uh, I forgot uh, about that. Yeah, I, 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 I think that one has ruffled up some feathers. <laughs> like, every, just saying. Every fucking feather on that bird has been ruffled. Uh, yeah, I, uh, it's so if, there, it, if, if no other game has been canceled for pure <laughs> fan outrage, this might be a first. Well, wasn't that Six Days in Fallujah put on the shelf for like ten years or something like we'll that? Put it on the shelf for ten more. Yeah, wh why are they suddenly bringing it back? You're not pulling a Metroid Dread there, EA. What are you doing? Oh God, it's EA that's doing it. I think so. Oh, I think it's them. It's even worse. Because now, not only are they going to upset a lot of people internationally, they're going to charge you for it. It's either EA or Activision. It's one of those shitty companies. They're, they're still, they're still bad. Um. It, it, like it, one of those two. It's Still sad that I can't figure out which one. All right, somebody take care of this if they can. Oh, oh artist can take care of it. No, she can't. Oh, she can. Yeah, she can. Oh, cool. Because paint has water in it. I just ran right into the fire. All right, like deeds. A it's you, dumbass. Get <sighs> going. All right, I need someone to. Maybe it's you, deeds. 
Uh, D D D. Hurry, we need to get some. We need to get something. What can break rocks? I honestly thought I could break rocks. I'm not going in. I'm just collecting stuff. Can okay. Uncle Joe break rocks? Uh, no. Uh, no, he can't. Oh, can no bonkers can't do it. Suplex can and Bugsy's around here somewhere. Bugsy. That's uh, ice. There's Freezy. Where the fuck did he go? That. Well, no! Why? Why do you hate me so? I'm a hammer-toting moron! Well, now you're Bugsy. I'm a bug! Okay, I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm a bug! <laughs> a golden beetle, no less! Yeah! You're royalty! You can't now throw my ass into that thing! Get on! No, no, please, no, wait, no! Okay, Excellent. I'm, 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 I'm good. <gasps> Puzzle piece. <gasps> Puzzle piece. And... Coup de gras! <gasps> uh, oh! A spin-up! Oh, that's wonderful. Race you to the center! Okay. Ah! ah never well, mind! Wow. Race look, off! Look at me fly. Race Ow! off! Race off! No, wait, race back on! Race back on! <laughs> oh, no, race off! I let you win! <laughs> we were on teams the whole time, weren't we? <laughs> I'm sure every kid has done that, right? Like, you know, created uh, superfluous rules after the fact. I'd like to think they have. No, but I've played with kids who did that, and I hated them. Look, don't call me out like that, please. <laughs> well, I, mean, I meant, like, because, it, like, if you do that against a grown-up, that's one thing. But if you do it against, you know, other kids your age, that's... Come on, come on. Now... I have won legitimately in so many board games, and I've had victory snatched out because I wasn't allowed to win because of whatever reason. Mm -hmm. Could, couldn't, you know, I bring them to my house and they cheat. I can't say anything because they're the guests, they can do whatever. Uh -oh, well, Go over well, to their house, exactly. play their games, and they cheat. Uh -huh. Can't do anything because, well, it's their house, I gotta... Mm, I don't know about that. You just get to eat shit, kid. Nah. <laughs> I've never had to worry about, uh, like, cheating and whatnot, but I have, uh... There's, there's a very, uh, strange fascination with house rules. <laughs> so it's just like, oh, how, uh, house rules, we're going with this. I was like, fucking... Oh, tell me about your, uh, your uh, hand-washing uh, situation. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh. No. No, not gonna happen. It's not how this works. I will say, playing games of deceit with my family is always an interesting time. <laughs> there is a board game. God, I'm, I'm so bad with names. Uh, basically, you're all stranded on a deserted island. It's a really fun game. And you can either help everyone collect food and water and rafts to get off the island, or you can just be a dickbag and screw everyone over. And there was one game I was playing the deceitful prick the entire time. Because, you know, you don't have to, but you can. And the thing is, the other players can screw you over. Like, I was making deals left and right. I was like, hey, if you if you hand me one of your one of your really good cards, I got water. Like, I can help us all out. If you give me one of your cards, I'll just go ahead and throw you a water card. And then I did, and then nobody ever trusted me again because I gave them garbage cards. <laughs> no! Donate it. Okay, wait for it. Go. Donate it. Got it anyway. This one you need. Bam. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Excellent. We have achieved greatness. It'd be really cool if you remember the name of that game, though. I will. F I'll. I'll figure it out. You could be, be, be kind of weird to go. Hey, everybody, check out. Check man, out the card, this the card game. game about being a deceitful douchebag. Among Us. That's right. My favorite game. Right, yes. My favorite board game. <laughs> Hold on, I'll, I'll think about it. Hmm. Among Us Island. Among Us Island. My favorite game. Hold Just... on, let me check the weather. Uh, I can, no, I can I'm totally gonna, help I'm gonna it. laugh if, if that's actually the, the, the We Got No More Ideas sequel they come up with for Among Us 2. <laughs> Among Us 2, a deserted Even island. Even better than the first. Among Us 2, more, more treachery afoot. You, you, you're in the sky now. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm, we're, we're always in the, in the sky. sky. I mean, you're on land. Galapagos, that's it. It's a play on worries. Yeah, Galapagos, great game. Great to play with up to eight players, I believe. 
Oh. Really fun time. It's interesting to screw people over because there is, in fact, a gun item and you could just end up shooting somebody at the end of the turn. It, it's great. Because if you run out of food and water, all of a sudden you have to make a vote on oh, who gets to live and who gets to die. <laughs> Pretty funny. They're running a couple of D&D &D campaigns. That's the most of my tabletop adventures. What, dying? What, D&D? &D? Dying in D&D? &D? I'm not I'm dying in D&D. &D. They do great in D&D. &D. Well, good. I'm, I'm glad you have D&D &D adventures. Uh, our, 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 our DM uh, made a mistake. Uh oh And gave me a monkey paw. Oh, no. And I'm like, dude, do you realize what you're doing giving me this? And he's like, yeah, that's fine. He's like, are you sure? He's like, yeah, it'd be great. Actually, I've never heard of any of your D&D &D adventures. Is there a good story you could tell? Well, uh... <laughs> Go on, you can tell me. Tell me about your goofs. So he gave me this monkey paw, right? Yeah. And I've used it twice. Out of three wishes, I've used two of them so far. <laughs> One of them was to wish back one of our comrades. Okay, that's a good wish. Now I think that uh, she is uh, of indentured servitude to me, but I haven't called her out on it yet. Mm. I haven't I haven't come to collect yet, but I yeah, will. But I will. I will. And then uh, the second thing was uh, the entire campaign at this city we were at. Uh -huh. I've been trying to set it on fire. I've been trying to burn this city to the ground. I've tried everything. I've tried everything. I tried, I tried to set up an uprising. The DM fast forward time three years, so all my efforts what? are in waste. Oh. And you're dead. What a tragic way to go. I know. How ironic, too. Crush the bug. Yeah. <laughs> Gross. Anyway, continue. So, so then I had to concoct a new idea where I uh, basically took, took a makeshift bottle of whiskey <laughs> and uh, got like a scrap of cloth from a local tailor shop. <laughs> I made a Molotov cocktail. Oh, nice. And give that to the people. <laughs> so that way people, you know, you could have, you know, chaos in the streets. See a fire, you know, burn, uh -huh. it, burn it that way. <laughs> but. Yeah. The people, the, 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 the lecherous youths that I gave it to, the, 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 uh, the, the no good hands that I tried to give it to, didn't know what the fuck to do with it. <laughs> they tried to drink it? It was around the time that we did the three-year skip, too, so, you know, that play didn't work. Hmm. Then I got the help of, a, of like, a, a minion. Like, I, I I call his name, and he appears. <laughs> so I said, alright, he's gonna help me burn down the city, and we catch up this great plan. It's like, alright, I'm gonna set up these, th these things, like, aha, well, I can, uh, you know, uh, th th this guy can take some of my, my um, Molotovs that I put on roofs. He can set them on fire and burn the city that way. Perfect! And we had a great heist going, and, you know, it, it involved the murder of a noble, and we got a great payout. It was, it was a good time, but Ooh, the nice. burning was immediately put out by the cult of an ice god. <laughs> oh. An, an ice god who's been getting pretty pretty snickety with me, pretty fucking snippy. I don't appreciate this uh, ice cult attitude, me, a being of fire. So. Get this monkey paw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And there, and uh, this this cult is like, we want to help. Uh, we, we want you to help us. We've seen what oh, you've been trying to do, and we God. think that uh, that uh, some of our goals can coincide. <gasps> oh and, um, God. And we're like, okay, mm -hmm. all right. So uh, help us out, and we'll see that you're rewarded. Mm-hmm. So this, this is a city in like the cold mountains, and it's held together by a, like a, like a hearth or whatever. Yeah. And uh, to communicate with their god, <laughs> they would need the ring around this hearth. Uh -huh. So we had to extinguish the hearth. Uh oh. We basically had to cut off all of the power to the city. <laughs> with the help of the ice cult, we did it. Okay. And so now we uh we uh, remove this ring from the hearth, so we can communicate with, with the god. And then she finally comes. She, she, you know, it, it all works out. We kill some guards, cause some chaos. Mm -hmm. The city's probably ruined now because the hearth is gone and all the, all the magic is, is gone. But the ice god has come forth. Oh. And then I take out my monkey paw. <laughs> and I basically make it swear fealty to only me. So now I have the power of an ice god. At your beck and call. At my beck and call. 
That is amazing. And what am I gonna do with her? What? I don't know. Whatever you want. I don't know what I'm gonna do with her yet. I mean, we can't destroy the city. It's kind of already, already really fucked. It's a nice guy. I can't really burn it anymore. So I'm gonna have to just have to work with that something, is I guess. Fantastic. Uh, all right, now it's Twin Cracko time. What's your alignment? I'm working a couple of different uh, campaigns. Okay. I have worked How three. About the one where you have the monkey paw. The one where I have the monkey paw. Uh, yeah. Neutral. What's your alignment? Chaotic neutral. That sounds right. <laughs> what race are you? Uh, fox human. Fox human. Part god. It's complicated. That sounds Ryuko Arashi. It's not Ryuko Arashi. It's his. Gr it's his grandmother. Ah. Oh yes, I, oh. I didn't get to show this off. If you have Paracel, you can really help against the twin Krakow fight. Really yeah. helpful. And then I can use Beam and hurt him. Ha ha! Oh, what that is a thing. What do you think about them eggs? Uh, they're all in the same basket. That's how you roll a crit twenty in Kirby, baby. Woo! I should also mention about my cursed die. One that doesn't do natural 20s ever. Or does natural ones. So I got a I got a big bag of die from Amazon. Uh-huh. It's just you know, ten bucks, you get ten sets of die. You get you get your D20, D10, you get mm -hmm. all the basics, all you need. Yeah. One of the colors was a really nice purple one. Ooh, nice. So I uh I took this uh purple d20 and uh worked well for a little bit and then all of a sudden it started rolling really badly like like ones all the time huh it's did like, you buy oh, a loaded die i don't i don't think it was loaded but i i, I think it might might have been at least you know, molded wrong because uh but i think it also might be cursed because if it's not rolling a one you know what number it is rolling uh nat 20 13 <laughs> now, the real reason is because I bet the dice was made incorrectly, and so it is positioned to, you know, th that, it, you know, it's, it's, it's set just so because the number right below one is 13. Okay. You're not superstitious, are you? But then again, <laughs> you do have, uh, what's, you know, like, uh, stat bonuses, you know, uh, uh, if you get, you, you know, I got, like, a plus seven in strength, I got a plus three in acrobatics, you know, stuff like that. So you, you you take your d20 roll and then you add that number. Yeah. Even so, still manages to be 13 more than more than a number. <laughs> so I. You gotta put it to the test, man. I, I have had parole hearings for it. It sits encased in a. In a <laughs> it, it, it is in a quartz <laughs> die case. On my desk. That's so awesome. So I can just see, you know, keep an eye on it, make sure it's not doing anything nefarious it's in behind my back. Solitary confinement. It's in solitary confinement. Every so often, I have a, oh, I have a parole that's hearing. So great. So about, about every session, I open it up, I take it out. It's like, <laughs> all right, all right, purple die. It's time for your parole hearing, and then I roll it, and it's a thirteen. I'm like, nope. Uh -uh. No, back in. That. Oh my god, that's funny. This fucking thing is cursed. <laughs> I've never heard of solitary confinement for a die. Well, so fantastic. We well, see there's there's a dice jail, you know, dice that just don't seem to roll anything good. Yeah. And then he got well, ones that should be in maximum security dice prison. <laughs> That's one of them. Max security die prison. Maybe a character or two died because of a roll from that. Maybe that was the one that had the the nat one. When you needed uh, two death saving rolls. Well, see, you could add that to the campaign. Just say, oh, my luck is being dictated by the soul of a demon I killed ages ago. <laughs> well, the uh, uh, DM would have to approve it, though. Well, I know, but that could be a creative spin on your current campaign. I don't, I don't know. It's kind of a game trying to Shit. trick the DM, try and do something he doesn't expect. But even with my Ice God claiming technique, He's he's still kind of kind of cool with it. In fact, he sent me a he sent me a DM on Discord. It's like, uh, hey, uh, did uh, did you uh, say that uh, it'll? Uh, uh, what was the wish? It's like uh, it will it will obey only my character. And he's like, oh, okay, cool, thanks. 
Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> when a DM has to ask you to confirm what you have done, you might be screwed. But you don't have a killer DM, do you? Uh, fairly fair. He's balanced. Okay. Good. You know, you know between... Alright, I'll, I'll bend him a little bit, so that way, you know, uh, we, but, uh... Also, yeah, yeah, we can do that. He's pretty forgiving. He's, uh, more... He's open to homebrew. Good, good. Can't wait to play a Dragon Ball Z character next time. We can do a <laughs> campaign. You broke the key! How did I get hit? You got... There was a meteor there! You got hit by it! I know, but... There was nowhere to go. Well, well shit. Well, where you went wasn't the place to go. Apparently. Let me try again. No, I'm gonna do it. No, I wanna do I'm it. I'm gonna do it. I wanna do it. I wanna do it. Fine, you do it. Yeah. You with the bigger hitbox and a rate. Just, you know, here you go, Indeed. guys! Indeed. Break it up! Bring on the pain. Oh, I see. See? Meteors! I got they it. They hurt! I got it. I got it. You don't have to worry anymore, UDG. Passive aggressivism? Nah. Hey, we did it. See? No more worrying. Am I really as angry as I am? Nah, I can actually tell when you get angry. <laughs> it's gotten to that point in the friendship where it's like, that's not real. Ah, oh, that's good. That's good. Now that, on the other hand, whoo, mm -hmm. that's real. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Good luck sleeping tonight. <laughs> I'll be yeah, there with a knife. Good. Anyway, hey, make us some food. Give me food? I bet you give us some, give us some treats. It was a m m like monkey bread, a pretzel, and a cake, I think, or something. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Thanks for bringing my... my, uh, thermos to my soccer practice. I really appreciate it. It's got some delicious soup. I'm going to eat well today. It's, it's empty. And say, wait, wait, wait you, you, you wanted me to put something in the thermos? Wait, no, why would I just ask for a thermos, Mom? I don't know, you're the one who told me to buy one. Worst soccer actually, practice the, ever. Actually, the school requested I buy you a lunchbox. Mm -hmm. Because and apparently, you just can't hold it in your hands, can you? Nah. You can't even get a plastic bag, Mom? No, we need those! <sighs> okay, that, that just reminded me, back in middle school, you know, you got your parents to make your lunch. Well, maybe. At least mine did. Mine did. D just to make sure I was getting, you know, the right... right nutrients for a growing boy like me. And, uh, I remember very vividly, I would always get to school early, you know, chit-chat with friends, you know, and have a little fun before school. They always got there early. Yeah, I should do. And we had to wait until the school properly opened. And I remember one day, for some reason, we were throwing backpacks. And I never would have guessed that my uh, lunch would explode oh. in, in a thrown backpack like that. <laughs> and, uh... Alright, yeah. alright. How bad was the damage? Was it a relatively dry lunch, or was it the day that you brought peanut butter shit, and jelly shit, and Hawaiian shit, punch? Shit. Well, let's just say it was a, uh, a very nice mixture of uh, Go-Gurt, PB&J, mm. and applesauce. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so about an eight on the worst it could have been. The holy trinity! <laughs> I see, I see. It was really bad. You ever had juice explode and ruin a library book from the school? No! That's a thing? That happened. Oh my. That happened. Sunny V? It was bright red Hawaiian. Oh! I don't know if it was Hawaiian, but it was some kind of fruit punch. Oh, that's gone. It, it was gone. It's tragic. That, that was, was, that that was, was a very stressful grade of sixth grade. <laughs> <laughs> I was always very careful with library books. I was a very cautious kid. Still kind of am, actually. You know, I always give enough uh, time before making plans just to make sure we have enough time. I really hate last-minute decisions. Like, when we had to move a recording session, I was like, Oh my god, UDJ's gonna hate me. Thankfully, we were pretty flexible about it, though. See, I'm also good at adapting to situations. So, I guess I really don't have to worry about it. Like, uh, like I'll hate, like... The rescheduling, that doesn't make me mad. What makes me mad, and I try not to do it myself, is when you say, Okay, I'll call you later. And don't. No, 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 puzzle pieces. Like, if you're as bad as a fucking, you know, uh... Damn it! I ...internet technical repairman. It's like, yeah, we'll be somewhere <laughs> between the hours of 9 and 12 a.m. Oh my god, so... 
I don't think I've ever mentioned. I've, I've, I've had too many. I've had a friend who would do that all the time. It's like, oh, oh yeah, I'll, I'll call you when I'm done with work. When you mm -hmm. get off work around five o'clock, and he wouldn't call until like nine thirty. Yeah. <laughs> so the worst hours of my life are between the hours of five and nine thirty when he finally calls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ruining my afternoon and my evening. Oh, no. Save me. Save me. Save me. Save me. Please? Don't make me into bonkers. Don't make me into bonkers. No! Okay, good. Made him into bonkers. Indeed. Enjoy your new bonkers life, whatever you were before that. I don't think I've ever mentioned the- We need a fourth person! God Fuck! damn it. No! Now what do we do? Do we know? Yes, we do! Fuck! Shit! Yeah, we do. I'm not cursed. So what do we do? Can we go back down? Can that- Does that work? Yes! Oh, yeah, it does work! Alright, quick, make a friend. Eh! Spider! Punch him! <laughs> Snakes! You want some, too? Ah, uh, angry video game nerd. Never lost his touch. Never. He sold out a little bit, but never lost his touch. Oh, this is a little bit. I, 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 I think the screen wave guys are putting their fingerprints into the formula a little bit too much. Well, I've noticed uh, since YouTube is not very viable anymore, you kind of have to get the sponsorships in order to keep your current state of living. What are you saying? Put those put those headphones away. I don't want any. What? No, I'm not going to play your shitty free to play game. That's okay, but I don't I don't need to learn another skill. That's all right, I have another VPN, that's fine. Well, I'm just saying, it's like, if your only job is YouTube, they're kind of screwing you over at every possible turn. Yeah. YouTube's pretty shit. Which is why your video's gonna get taken down for me calling them shit. My videos, I think yours are, because it's- Hey, but, uh, YouTube, okay. his channel's over here, by the way! He's the one saying those things, not me! And that's the day the Niskal LP went away. Goodbye. Because I sold him out. Actually, YouTube is such a coward when it comes to copyright holders. Uh, do you remember when um, Shining Force Let's Plays were getting taken down thanks to Sega? They were? Yeah. So, any... Like, like the be Genesis ones or the bad ones? Because they were announcing a new game. Oh. They were just, like, copyright striking and doing takedowns of anything with Shining Force in the name. Well, if anybody makes a big thing over anything, they'll reverse any decision. The thing is, YouTube's very reactionary. They'll be like, ah, God, you can't get rid of it! And everybody like, dude, don't do that! And then more people are like, dude, don't do that! And then, you know, if people go, dude, don't do that, they'll be like, okay, we won't do that then. They shouldn't have done it in well, the first place. Well, they're not that smart! Well, I think we're just gonna die here tonight, kids. Ah! See, that's what happened to our YouTube channel right yep, there. Yep, that's, that's what happened. Those are the three DMCA strikes. Air, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be spider for a little bit. All right, water. Since we lost DDD. Oh, oh overthrew his monarchy. <laughs> they now have a... Like a fly in the web. They now have a uh, fundamentalist autocracy. You and your words, man. Oh, don't. Don't fall. Don't fall. Okay, we're good. I do have words. I can say words. Check it out. Words. Words. Oh, yeah, the only reason I brought that up is, uh, there was uh, one channel that, that I still follow, because he does extremely good work in Let's Plays. Uh, there was one year where Konami decided, oh, hey, everything Metal Gear is ours now. I'm gonna take down all your videos. <laughs> and their channel got deleted. So they had to make a new channel and re-upload every single Let's Play. Beautiful. But the, the stupid part is, uh, they didn't retake down the Metal Gear videos they got put back up, so it was literally just them being a dick. <laughs> oh, hey, these are ours now. Actually, n you know what is pretty cool. All right, later. Do we listen to our content creators? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure. Trying to work well with the community to make sure. Good one, Konami. Thinking you have feelings. That's hilarious. Go, 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 oh god! Waddle do, I need you to chill, bruh. Please. Ooh, I want to be Bugsy again. When he dies, I, I wish to own his corpse. So what makes you think you're gonna duck? Yay. Me. Hello, I am, I am Suplex now. To hello, Suplex. 
Oh, yeah. hello, Mr. Suplex. What do you do for a living? Uh, I paint cars. Uh, oh. Not the answer I expected. But the answer you got. <clears throat> what kind of cars do you paint? What's that go? <laughs> Bugattis! Oh, all these puzzle pieces. Yeah, Bugattis. Now Bugatti coat of paint on you. Would you like to try that spiel again, sir? Where's, where's the button? Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll try the spiel again. Um, if you want to... Please buy my product. You can see it's green, but it, if you look in the light, it looks purple. Please you invest that. in Goldbug United, where we paint your car with colors that don't exist, and we only paint cars that maybe kind of exist. Please help. Our family is so poor. We do not make any money. In fact, my business is imaginary. We, we, we will paint your car for twelve dollars. Uh, do you need to charge way more than that to paint a car? Really? Mm -hmm. How much do you charge? Like thirteen dollars. A few hundred, actually. Oh. oh. Okay. R really? <laughs> <laughs> why, why are you holding me? How how, how dismount? I just I just want to. There we go. I just want to be close. Just want, just want to be close to you, bug! Yay. Yes. Alright, who dis? Alright! Oh, that's it! That is it! Okay. Alright, so, next time, on Kirby Star Allies, we're gonna be finishing up Guest Star Waddle Do Beam Land. Ha! Huh. Said it right. Huh? What? I'm so confused. Who is it? Well, I would. Wait. Wait. Their name was right there. Oh no. Where'd it go? Oh no, I forgot my name. Maybe they never existed. This is what happens when your computer doesn't save your username and password. I forget. Oh no. No! Ugh. No! How are we gonna finish the game? Oh well. Find out next time. <laughs>